Welcome everyone to Minecraft and to Bucket. Today I'm going to show you guys my plugin broadcast. Now, if you are on my thread, you can read what the plugin is and what the plugin does. Um, you can also find the permission node. Uh, however, if you are OP, this will work as well. Now, what this does is that if you are OP and have the permission node, the player will not be affected by this plugin. Uh, you can also find an installation guide here if you like to, uh, but I guess you rather watch the movie since you're <laughs> watching this now. Uh, to do well, I'm going to add some new features to this plugin uh, in a while, and if you have any requests, any ideas, just let me know, and I will add it to the to-do list, of course. Um, Yes, so let's just start with downloading the, the plugin, which you can download by clicking this link right here. Uh, and this button right there. Now, when you download your plugin, you will get an zip file. Now, if you open the zip file, you have the jar file and oops, and uh, a folder. This folder contains the config, YML, and the log text. So, just upload that to your server and upload it to your plugins folder as you can see probably you don't have the same kind of server I have since this is online very cool stuff uh, but it's it, it's the same just go into your plugins folder and uh, upload it there so you can see your broadcast jar file and your folder right here now if you go into that folder and you go into the YML we can start to edit edit the plugin as we like it now, there is three things we can prevent. We can prevent people from using things, breaking things, and place things. Sorry. Um, you can add how many things you like to, but um, but remember, if you do add many, many, uh, many items, it will be your server may spam a little bit because every block that breaks uh, or if a player tries to break a block and place it and use it it will be broadcasted so for now the this uh, item that's already here is some good items you need to you, you should have there and I personally think that's the only one you should have there too if your server is not special in any way so so now we know that players cannot use flint and steel they cannot use lava buckets they cannot break bedrock they cannot place it and not place fire, TNT, or lava. Right? So we're gonna save that and go into. Sorry for that. We're gonna go into the log text and um, see what that is. Well, now this text is almost empty at this this moment, or it's it's not. <laughs> sorry for that. Um, well, this contains. I can actually show you. Uh, if if someone tries to to do something they are not supposed to do, you can see this on the log. You can see the the time, I mean <laughs> the day, uh, and the the time for it, the player name and what he did and what item it was. So that's pretty nice to have because you you probably are not on 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 the server all the time. So this will help you a lot. Yes, then the configuration part is actually done. It's just to enable the plugin and restart your server, reload or what you prefer, and log in. I cannot log in with this recording, so I need to change the recording. So I will be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back in Minecraft and we are going to see the plugin in action. Now, I have set up a little test arena here. Uh, and we're going to test every the, every future we just added to the config file. There is three more futures that is not named in a config file, and that's the iron ore, the gold ore, and the diamond ore. Which is, if someone breaks them, it will be logged, uh, and they will also get a message that it, it is logged. Since if someone uses X-ray, you can notice if someone is getting uh, a big amount of any ore in a very fast time. So we're going to check how that works. First, I'm gonna break it, and you can see I just break an iron ore. It's broadcasted, and I have an uh, I have a personal message as well. And you can see that if he breaks one, it's 
broadcasted and we do not see the message. Now we're going to continue with this one. It's the same with this one as it was with the iron ore, just it's now gold. And the same with the diamond ore. Okay, now for the lava pour, if we try to place lava, we you can broadcast it and you see that we get the same message. And if he tries to do it, you can see that we just get the broadcast part. The same with the TNT. As you can see, he's going to try it as well, yes. And the same with the fire. You can try to place fire. And he can try it as well. And if you try to use flint and steel, it's the same. And if you try to use this bucket of lava, it's the same. Yeah. And the same with if you try to place bedrock. And he can try that as well. So that's very nice. Um, I'm going to go back to you and uh, see the log file. So you can see that everything was logged and that it was working very great. So I will be right back in a little moment again since I need to change the recording program since the, the hypercam is it's not good to use inside Minecraft actually and the, the fraps is not able to use outside Minecraft so if anyone have an idea how I can do that better please tell me because this is kinda stupid yeah so I will be right back okay we are back in outside of Minecraft <laughs> I'm sorry for the change part but that's just the way it is now if we go inside the broadcast folder inside our plugin folder we can now go to our log file which we can find right here and uh, see what it contains yes here we can see that the Super Mario was mining iron ore gold ore no this is from before sorry uh, if we just go up to here you can see that I tried to mine iron ore and as well general all star did it too and the gold diamonds tried to place lava, tried to place fire, tried to use flint and steel, lava bucket as well as bedrock. Now, you see this diamond ore part? That's why I've added the time. Because if you can, if you, if you can see, if let's pretend that you this file content contains. Oops, I'm sorry for that. Let's pretend this file contains. Oops. Sorry again. Oh my god. I'm not good at this. Let's pretend this file is containing something like this. And yeah, you get the point. You can see that I mined it at Diamond Ore very fast every single minute, actually. Like, by the way, this is not right. There's no time for all of this. Uh, wherever, uh, but you can see that you can you can find out if someone is using X-ray. Um, I know it's kind of messy log file, but I'm going to make it a little bit better in the future. Um, I'm also going to edit so you can toggle on and off the broadcast and the private player message as well. So, but again, it's my first plugin, so I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you do have any ideas, just let me know. So thank you for watching the tutorial and thank you for using my plugin if you are doing it and have a great time playing Minecraft.